第二任后第一次访华，跟中方交谈的时候，可以比较长远的角度去讨论中方的关系，用一个比较广阔的观点来考虑我们双方可以在哪一些领域增加合作，双方之间有什么呃需要解决的问题，或者国际局势有什么因素可以影响我们双方的合作。呃，这个是以前不同的地方。So by coming here this way, I'm able to get a sense of it, and also to renew my contacts with people whom I've known as previously, and I hope make some new contacts with the next generation of Chinese leaders. You should not be captured by the immediate ups and downs of what happens in the U.S. The interests, the concerns, the problems which need to be worked on, they extend in many cases way beyond one term of government. If you are able to look beyond four years. As a horizon, we will see how it turns out. And from there, we could see the SIP stretching around. Except this is how the U.S. is before us. I was here the second time to visit the U.S. I was here the first time to visit the U.S. I was here the first time to visit the U.S. I was here the first time to visit the U.S. I was here the first time to visit the U.S. 现在我不是直接负责这些课题了，所以我跟中方交谈的时候，可以比较长远的角度去讨论中方的关系，用一个比较广阔的观点来考虑我们双方可以在哪一些领域增加合作，双方之间有什么呃需要解决的问题，或者国际局势有什么因素可以影响我们双方的合作，呃，这个是以前不同的地方。总的方向，我确信新方有意愿跟中方合作，中方对新加坡友善的态度也是很明确的。我们也希望从中国借鉴他们的经验，了解他们的情况。所以这些是我们应该做的东西。总理当然也会做，也会有机会来华访问，也希望呃中国领袖到新加坡来，那呃。做国事访问呢，或者说工作访问。China is a very big and complicated country, so it's very difficult to have a single, uh, single generalization which applies across the country. By coming here this way, I'm able to get a sense of it and also to renew my contacts with people whom I've known as previously, and I hope make some new contacts with the next generation of Chinese leaders. It's a very big economy in the world. It's a very big factor in Southeast Asia. To us too, it's a major one of our biggest trading partners. And um, we need to work extra hard in order to maintain that link. Because I think to lose that link is to lose something very valuable and important to us. And if you come to China, if you talk to the, talk to the people, you will know they have technology, they have energy, they have a lot of ideas, they have a lot of talent. And if we want to make a success of Singapore, we should be able to work with them, certainly not to neglect them, and least of all, to be at odds with them, if at all possible. And uh, that's why I will keep on visiting. So the Chinese are trying to figure out how they can maintain their relations on a some stable basis and to make have discussions and make commitments which uh, you can follow through on and which will work um, and first of all across the term of change of government and secondly hopefully beyond uh, any single term of an administration 
But that's the way the US administration, the US government works, has always worked. And countries, whether you are an adversary, whether you are a rival, whether you are a, an ally, whether you are a friend, you just have to accept this is how the US system works and um, do your best to make sensible um, assessments and sensible, take sensible measures. You have to respond to what's happening in the US, but I think you should not be captured by the immediate ups and downs of what happens in the US. Because the ups and downs, you cannot not respond to them. But the interests, the concerns, the problems which need to be worked on, they extend in many cases way beyond one term of government. And therefore, if you want to solve them, or work at them, and if you are able to look beyond four years as a horizon, you should try and do that. So that's what I think countries are all trying to do, and we will see how it turns out. The world goes on. I mean, every four years there's a new government in the US. Sometimes there's a change of party, sometimes even without a change of party. With the same party, a new team, you have to ask where will they reassess that position. And, uh, well, we work at it. The question is whether you can revive the vibrancy, the confidence, the optimism, the, the, the innovation and entrepreneurship which created um, breakthroughs, unicorns and a tremendous sense of dynamism and transformation which has carried them all the way these 30 plus, well nearly 50 years since uh, 1978, since they started Kai Ke Kai Fang. Um, that is harder to say. The immediate problems, it's, they are quite serious. The property market issue, certainly the scale is large. The local government debt issue, the scale is also considerable. And there are also structural aspects to it which need to be tackled. Because it's not just a matter of government. And you are simultaneously trying to restructure the economy in order to promote higher consumption. So that's very complicated. And I think it will take some time. I believe they will have very capable economists working at it. But the challenge, of course, if we are running a country, is that you've got to balance the economic considerations with the political and the social considerations and the national security and external strategic concerns and make a judgment. How fast do you do it? Which of these decisions do you make based on economic principles and requirements and which of this you say well the econ economics pushes you one way but I've got other overriding considerations uh, not to do it that way. I've talked to some of the Singapore companies which are here, I've talked to some of the Chinese companies which are here, they are cognizant of the issues but each in their own way is trying to find their path forward in this environment. And they are businessmen, they are resilient, they've seen cycles, ups and downs. And I think they will try their best to see through this cycle too. And uh, we wish them success.